Independent Women's Forum Senior Policy Analyst, Patrice Lee Unwuka. Patrice, what is your reaction to what Adam Schiff is saying now? Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, I think the writing is on the wall that uh, very likely the Mueller investigation is going to come up with no evidence of collusion, which is something that Democrats have hung their hats on, many of whom, particularly on the far right, those freshmen, have campaigned on. So he's kind of hedging his bets, saying, OK, if the investigation doesn't come up with anything, we're going to continue to investigate the president for something else, which just drags out um, the, the, the idea of undermining this presidency and everything the president is trying to accomplish. Let's listen to what Adam Schiff said earlier in the week. Watch. What will be necessary to make an impeachment of bipartisan process would have to be extraordinarily uh, clear and compelling. Uh, I don't foreclose at the possibility that the Mueller investigation will produce that or that our own will, but I think the speaker is absolutely right. In its absence, an impeachment becomes uh, a partisan exercise uh, doomed for failure. Um, and I see little to be gained by putting the country through that kind of wrenching experience. Wrenching experience. <laughs> Patrice also said that nothing is worse than a failed impeachment proceeding than a, uh, nothing is worse than a failed one. He's saying that would be horrible and traumatic for the country. What's your reaction to what he said there? <laughs> it's like the slow leaking of, of, of air out of a balloon. I mean, Democrats had this inflated balloon, this belief that they were going to find collusion and take down President Trump. And now, slowly but surely, that balloon is, is, is collapsing, and they're recognizing, oh, there's really nothing there. It, it's actually Well, we don't have the Mueller report just yet, right? So we, Well, we don't, but it, it, there, it already seems like they're expecting there not to be anything in the Mueller report. You know, I, I think what's also interesting, uh, Nancy Pelosi, said in the Washington Post article this week, you know, she reads uh, public sentiment. So public sentiment is really where it's at. And right now, 59 percent of Americans say they should that Congress should not impeach President Trump. You know, so I think Democrats are recognizing if they push forward with impeachment without public sentiment behind their back and with no evidence, particularly the evidence that they've hung their hat on, then they're going to be up a creek without a paddle come 2020. And here's what seems to be the strategy. Slow walk slow walk these Democrat probes to damage the president and his re-election chances for 2020. Is that what you're seeing the Democrat Party lining themselves up to do? Adam Schiff, for example, with Russian money laundering. Slow walk it. Yeah. Slow, oh. slow down these so that it bleeds into 2020. Absolutely. Absolutely, Liz. I mean, what, what better a way to grab headlines than to say we're now investigating President Trump or everyone in his orbit for X, Y, and Z, and that distracts Americans from the good headlines around the economy, around the workforce. Uh, and, 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 you know, those are the things that the president is likely to run on and conservatives are able to, to point to. So it absolutely is a distraction tactic, and I'm not surprised they told us they were going to do this as soon as they came into office. Patrice Leon Wooker, thank you so much for joining us. I want to fix something that we said, I said earlier. Manafort is now facing a total of more than seven years in prison, and not seven months. I misspoke there.